What is going on guys? Noah here with Custom RC Mods. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the workshop. Today I've got two boxes here. These are both um, deals that I got off of RC groups. Uh, you'll see them in a second. They're fairly similar. Um, but I just think that we're going to go ahead and get straight into today's um, double unboxing. Then we're going to go ahead and get into what all this stuff over here is and how this is going to affect my channel and move forward. Uh, but let's just go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and start off with this one first because I believe this is the one that I purchased first. These are both um, over Memorial Day weekend, uh, their purchases, um, but because there was no obviously shipping um, on Monday, they're both shipped out the same day. Um, so it kind of makes sense even though this one was uh, purchased a day and a half later. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Um, first things first, looks like we've got some uh, straps right here. That's the raced with day quad straps. I mean, always good to have some quality straps for your batteries. Um, and we got some props. These are Jelly Bean um, Racecraft props right here. Uh, sparkly, nice, no complaints there. Um, I, not exactly what I was expecting when he said I was gonna throw some extra props in, but hey, absolutely no complaints from me. Props are props are props. Um, and then we got some Emacs uh, 2205 Bells. Um, and this is nice because every time I crash, um, you know, something can happen, of course. And, you know, having these bells, extra motor bells, is a good uh, thing, especially uh, when you're a beginner like me and you crash a lot. And we also have a run cam. This is a mini Swift, um, and it's in the box currently, um, but it has been obviously taken out, um, but it is, has not been used. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and take the rest of this bubble wrap apart. Um, and here is the good stuff right here. This is a quad. This is uh, the frame is, I believe, a, a space X, a space one meteor five inch frame. Um, and as you can see, it is a full on five inch quad. We've got the Emax 2205 motors that would match up with the bells here. Um, and then we obviously have the actual quad itself. It lo looks like we got some green prop nuts, things like that. Um, there is no receiver in this at all, um, which is kind of to be expected, and I'm fine with that. Um, but this is a really good deal I got off of someone at rcgroups.com in the classified section. So let's go ahead and set this apart um, aside for now. And we're gonna go ahead and close up this box. Set that off to the side. Um, and then now we're gonna go ahead and open up the other one. Just like that. Interesting box, a little dented, but no, no biggie. Um, all right, here we are. All right, so looks like we've got some HQ props right here. HQ props are really, really nice. I have a few of them on some of my planes. Um, and then we've got a quad here, and we've got a GoPro mount, of course, as well. And looks like that's probably about it. That's all I um, really ordered. All right, so on this quad here, um, this is a bit of a beefier setup. Let's go ahead and pull these props off and the tape off. All right, so we've got some HQ props over here that came with this one. This one right here is a knockoff uh, Schizo Nova frame, which is a very popular um, frame, obviously, by Schizo. Um, and then it also does come with a receiver. I believe this does have an FR Sky um, receiver installed. However, of course, I run Spectrum, um, but no biggie, of course. Um, we're going to be running a Spectrum receiver in here. Uh, looks like we did get a um, GoPro mount with it, which is a nice touch, and it will just go ahead and bolt into this um, just like that. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't have a session at this moment, so maybe later down the road, but um, it is always nice to have one of these. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's a Schizo Nova frame. It has a really nice set of electronics in here. These are e uh, Emacs Eco uh, 2306 motors, I believe. These are like 2450 kV, um, so really nice motors. They're very, very smooth, um, of course, as well. Um, and of course, the frame, like I said, Schizo Nova frame, um, FR Sky receiver of some kind installed. Um, there's a bunch of 3D printed hardware all around here. We've got some motor protectors on the front. Those are nice. We've got a little front end protector on the carbon there. Also nice. Uh, looks like um, I think the FC and the power, dis uh, power distribution board uh, is a Brain Radix, which is a really, really nice, or Radix, I'm not sure how you say it. 
Um, really, really nice uh, name brand uh, PFC board right there as well. Um, and then obviously it does come with the supporting uh, power distribution board. Um, and then of course, there is no camera in this one, but uh, thankfully on my other one, we got the um, Runcam Mini Swift that I'll be just going ahead and dropping in right over there. Shouldn't be uh, that you know big of a deal there as well. But you can see right here, um, these both are five inch quads. However, the Nova frame is a little bit bigger um, and the Space One frame is a little bit smaller, but these are 2205s and these are 2306s. Uh, the size different, difference really isn't substantial. Um, however, these are a little bit smaller and it's important to note that because um, this may not carry a GoPro as well. But yeah, um, I'm really excited to see where these go. I'm not really going to dive too much into the individual individual specs. Um, and here, just because I mentioned the flight controllers over there, I have a Kakuta, um, uh, it's a Holybro Kakuta F4 um, all-in-one uh, flight controller. Uh, and I believe it has an OSD in it as well. And then there is a Luminear VTX in here as well as a Mini Swift for the camera. Um, so yeah, really, really good. I'm really excited for both of these. I know this has kind of been all over the place in terms of the video, but I'm going to do an individual video for each one of these, trying to get them um, all you know, running uh, just how they should be. We're going to go ahead and install the receivers, of course, which I'll get into in a second, as well as uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the tuning and beta flight and just hover testing, things like that, in their own separate videos. So yeah, let's go ahead uh, for the moment, I guess. Um, that's just going to be it for the video, but I'm also going to be dropping in some receivers. I think that I'm going to drop the SRXL2 um, receiver inside uh, the um, Nova right there. And then right here we have the um, Spectrum 4648 Autobine 3.3 volt receiver that can drop right into the um, to the Space One right there as well. And for batteries, these are just a few that I've had lying around and used in some of my planes. Um, this one right here is the one that I use in the Baron, which is a 1300 milliamp hour tattoo, uh, 4S 1300 milliamp hour. This is uh, 75C, I believe. Um, so that's nice. And then we've got a 1500 milliamp hour or 1550 4S uh, 45C that I use in the Vigan. Um, and then these two right here have not been touched ever. These are both from Rhino. Uh, they're 1550 uh, 50C 4S's as well. Uh, so all these these will be very good options uh, to put on these quads, and I'm really excited to do that. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to go ahead and stay tuned uh, for the you know individual videos with these. I'm sorry if this was all over the place. I was kind of trying to process all of this um, together. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and set these up and get them tuned properly, hopefully, and we'll be good to go. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we are nearing 500 subscribers, so your support would mean more than ever at this time. Um, please let me know if there's any questions you have, and if so, I'd be happy to make a video about it. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.